Excellent. How are you doing today, Lee? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. Dude, it's, it's always a pleasure because your passion in life is sharing music with we the people. And to have an opportunity to share the conversation with you, I mean, it just grows with you and your, your legacy. All right. Thanks. To be a part of Macy's Day Parade, you know we're going to be on there. And we're going to be watching for you guys because the, these two Christmas songs that you've got, oh my God. <laughs> it was fun playing them and it's fun for people to hear them it's fun for us to have people hear them but you know you know what's really interesting lee is the way that the group chicago has taken these songs such as the christmas song first of all listen to all of those voices in the background and then it goes into that little little hint of jazz and i'm going oh my god i'm feeling good and it's not even christmas yet we have always tried to do uh i guess chicagoized versions of uh hit songs and we 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 did the same thing with our uh, big band album, and then when we decided to do Christmas albums, we just we wanted to do uh, uh, original arrangements, and this, these are what we came up with. I'll tell you what, I, I, I don't speak with a forked tongue when I say that my, fa- my favorite song of all time, everything that's ever been released, is still In the Mood by Chicago. All right, there you go. Dude. We, did that, we did that live uh, for years and years. I think until the guys in the band decided to stop doing it. We have we have something in, in common, and that is Bruce Geich. Bruce Geich has always talked about the things that he's done with the group Chicago. Yeah, Bruce was a lot of fun to work with. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, high for me. I, I absolutely will, because he's, he's the father of my daughter. So it's like, I, I, I see ah. him all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You know, one of, one of the things that you're doing with this new Christmas album, and this, this is so much of my childhood, and I want the new generation to really jump on this, the green vinyl version. Oh, my God, that's so Christmas. There it is, right? That was the idea. But we have a, a red vinyl version as well. <laughs> that means I have to buy both. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you guys going to jump on a Christmas tour like every year, maybe between November and, 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 and December 31st, where we can all come in and listen to all of your Christmas music? You know, the thing is, when we do Christmas tours, uh, the first time we did it, we did like six of our Christmas songs. And we put them all together, and it, as it turns out, people didn't like hearing Christmas songs one after another okay. after another. They wanted to hear what put us on the map. They wanted to hear the, the our, our hits. So in subsequent uh, Christmas tours, we do two or three Christmas songs uh, somewhere within the show, spread out, and the rest of the show is hits. And uh, it seems to be uh keep people happier that way yeah yeah and it's 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 good for us as well and we just enjoy being on the road anyway so <laughs> we enjoy playing for people the the, part, the hardest part of the road is the travel part <laughs> yeah i love i love the fact that you're always on the road because i'll tell you what you and the group kiss you're the two people i've seen 10 plus times yeah yeah and, and you know All what, right. though, is that every every performance, though, is a new experience. That's what I love about watching Chicago live. It's like you you never have the same experience at any of your shows. You know, every show is unique to itself because it, it, as many of the uh, buildings and venues that are similar to one another, each one of them sounds different. So when you, you get in there and you start playing, you have to get used to a, a new venue. Yeah, and uh, e- even if you played it many, many times before, you uh, have to get used to it all over again. It's pretty. pretty- it's almost like you've become a tradition here in Charlotte because, I mean, people will set up what they're going to be doing for different parts of the year to make sure that they are in those stands when you guys are performing that live in Charlotte. That's great. That's great to know. That is, yeah, that's what keeps us going. Yeah, you know. People have, uh, and you know, we try not to let people down. We try to treat every show as an event and play the songs as like we're playing them for the first time. When you sit down to record "Let It Snow," how much show prep goes into that? Because you you bring so much to this song. I mean, it's a song that we've heard a billion times until you hear this version of the song, and it puts you in a great mood all the way through it. That's great. Well, when we put it together. I initially, uh, when I arranged it and brought it in, uh, I had 
envisioned someone else singing it because I'm playing trumpet on it. So I didn't figure I would be the guy singing it. But as we went through, people were having trouble um, making it work for them. And I said, well, you know, give me a shot. Let's, you know, see if it works. We'll know within the first couple lines. You just, you know, bring in the hook and take me off the microphone. Uh, we'll know almost immediately. And as it turned out, worked out fine. Yeah. And um, it, it's done. This is probably the best uh, Christmas song, the, 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 the biggest selling Christmas song that we've ever had. So I'm uh, very happy. Speaking of best selling, from your side of the stage, what is that go to song that you know that we're all going to just go crazy? Is it Saturday in the Park? Is it Getting Stronger Every Day? If You Leave Me Now, which one is the one where you know we're going to just explode in pure enjoyment? There are a multitude of yes. songs that people explode for. So, I mean, there isn't one song that I could pinpoint. And, and uh, it's the songs are. Uh, interesting enough for us that it keeps us interested in, and they're difficult enough to play that you got to keep your chops up to stay uh, on top of it. And uh, so we try to keep improving as much as we can through the years. And, uh, and uh, just, you know, like I said before, try to play the songs like we're playing them for the first time. And I think that's what works the best. I was going to say, because, I mean, I always feel that way when, when it's when it's live, because it feels like it's like you guys have just come up with a song and we're going to play it for you. And you happen to be witnesses to this moment. And, and, and the way that it's all choreographed, the light show, it's such an experience to see you guys in concert even today. Right. Yeah. Thank you. You know what? I wanted to mention before we uh, break that uh, uh, we have a couple other things coming up. At the, we're going to be at the Oceans Casino and Resort uh, in Atlantic City. The show is called Decades Rock Live, uh, Chicago and Friends. It's going to be filmed, and you will see it um, somewhere along the line. It will be available, and we're going to have a, seven different guest artists on the show as well. So that's unique for us because we usually don't let anybody sit in. <laughs> so that'll be fun. When you say it's going to be filmed, because, I mean, uh, even before Taylor Swift did her thing in theaters, I was already going to see live performances at the movie theater. Do, will we get that experience in a theater? I don't know if it'll be in theaters or not, but uh, the time will tell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, it, I, that's where I want to be. I want to be that close to your stage when I see you guys in concert in something like this, even if it means I'm watching it on my flat screen, because those camera angles, everything shows the emotion that you're putting into everything that you guys are doing on that stage. I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one other thing that I want to announce, and that's uh, our touring next summer. We're going to do uh, 40 plus shows with Earth, Wind, and Fire. No. So we we played with them three times before, and uh, we're looking forward to our fourth touring season with them. Wow. Do you share horn sections at all, just for the fun of it? We do. Oh we, my god. We sh- <laughs> we're going to play. Chicago is going to play a set. Earth, Wind, and Fire plays a set. And then both bands come on for a six-song encore at the end. <laughs> we'll, we'll be playing three of their songs and three of ours. When you were first bringing this band together, is there any possible way that you envisioned all of this taking place? Because, I mean, wow, your journey. No way to envision what we are doing. It's like the impossible dream, and we're living it. Wow. Somewhere along the line, though, I would love a member of the group Chicago to to write a book about how the importance of radio in your journey, because, I mean, Dick Clark was such a major part of what you get, or maybe a partnership type person inside your early days. Yeah. Yeah. Dick Clark and uh, many, many other uh, uh, DJs around the country and the world. Yeah. Uh, helped us uh, with what we do, with where we are now. Yeah, yeah. And and that's what I've always loved about that connection with Chicago is that once again, you're not afraid of people. You're you're not afraid of sharing the story. It's like, okay, start the conversation. Let's 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 grow here. That's right. Wow. That's right. Where can people go for, before I even go there? I want to know the Ocean's Casino. When when you don't have to set up night after night and you're going to be in one place. That has got to be a very special moment in your creative career. That is, and you know, that's a, a two night run. So it's like playing the clubs for, for us back in the day. Cause you know, when we were playing the clubs, we would play there for weeks and months. 
and uh, you know, you just it was like going to the office almost. Wow. So where can people go to find out more about the the Oceans Casino, about uh, new music at the Christmas album? Because I mean, it's like every I don't I, I just don't want to go to Google and put your name in there. There's got to be one direct site. And, and we'll be at the Macy's Parade. That's and right. Then next year, you know, more, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. But you go to ChicagoTheBand.com. Just as easy as that, man. Yep. Lee, you got to come back to the show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Sounds great. Well, you be brilliant today, okay? All right. Take it easy, Earl.